Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are going to take a look at how to transfer our files via USB from the Zoom H1n into uh, your iPad, uh, into the files system or wherever you like, audio, share, Dropbox, whatever, and how to move those files around, delete them, reinstall them, oof, all sorts of cool stuff we can do. Okay, so we can use this as a card reader. It can also be an audio interface. We're going to use it today as a card reader, but it can be an audio interface, like I just said, for your iOS device as well as PC and Mac. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is I would suggest you use a powered hub just in case you get a, 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 a warning that there's not enough power to power this. Use a, use a powered hub. Okay, so basically you plug the powered hub into your iPad, plug this into your powered hub, like this, let's get the right way around. And the other end we shall place into our zoom here. And as soon as we do this, as soon as we as soon as we make the connection here, right, the screen will change, you'll see. Gosh. Right, now you'll see it will say audio interface. Uh, so audio IF or card reader. So I'm gonna hit this little button that uh, says limiter, so it's going down to card reader and then I'm going to enter it by pressing this and now we're in card reader mode and it appears here as H1NSD automatically so that's done okay so it's there now so I could go in there and I could go all right there's the files folder and there's all the files that Joe recorded yesterday so Joe went around the house recording some audio files for this I can't, this is like the files app that comes with the iPad. You, I can't preview these sounds and I'd like to. So I would also suggest that we can close this actually. Close this, close this uh, and open this one called Sample Crate. Now you can get Sample Crate from the app store. It's not very expensive, but the, you can do lots of cool stuff with Sample Crate. Like you can audition sounds. So here is a sample. It seems to be Watson trotting around. And then nothing in that one. Okay, so that's a letterbox sample, and then some fridge noise, I think. So Joe went round recording various samples, some water samples, and. I would like to transfer these now into something else. Now, here's the cool thing. Let's do the whole file first. Let's go with folder 01 or the whole stereo folder, right? Now let's go to our thing again. We can pick up the whole folder and we could just say drop it anywhere, pick it up by drop it into Dropbox or Audio Share or anything like this. We could do it that way. Or we can select, let's go back to this, we could go select, select it, and then we could say move it somewhere else. We could say we could move it into my samples on Cubasis. So we could say, oh, like, well, let's move it into my audio files. You just select my audio files and then go copy and it's done. It's very fast. There's only a few samples in there. So you can drag it and drop it around like that. But the other cool thing you can do is because this is, you can also do this with the files app, but it's brilliant with, uh, it's brilliant using sample crate for this because let's do this. Let's tap these three little buttons at the top here and let's go this way. And then I'm going to go and find uh, Hokusai uh, Hokusu, uh, Hokusai 2 uh, sample editor, which is a sample editor that I like to use like this, you see. And we've got a, a project there called Make Your Payment, which is all sort of samples that Joe did uh, when she went shopping. And then another one called New Project. Here's the thing. We can now drag and drop. We could go like, okay, let's go plus, right? So we can now, we can audition. I like this water one. So just drag it and drop it, pick it up, stick it in there. And now we've got that now in Hokusai, Hokusu, Hokusai, Hoku, Haka, whatever it's called. We've got it now in as, as a project in there and we can go and do further editing and stuff. 
which is very cool. Now, here's the other cool thing we can do. This is interesting as well and, and quite useful. Somebody have a swig of me coffee, hang on. Let's just sample that. Okay, so let's close off Hokusai. And let's say, for instance, go to our thing. Let's, we know we're going to move these to, into audio share. All right. So I'm going to, I'm just going to drop this. In fact, I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to pick it up. And I'm going to drop it into audio share. And now I'm going to check audio share. And there might be one called, here it is, stereo. Right. I'm just going to open it up and check. And there's right there's more in here now because there are some other samples in that folder as well so let's find okay so we've got some samples in there the clock Say, for instance, we want to delete the samples from here now. We don't need to do any work with the H1N to delete samples from its folder while we're in our files app system. All we need to do is select this and then delete. And what's happened is we'll know that there are no, now no files on it. It's all been deleted. And we can actually check this. I'm just going to go exit. I'm going to go up, exit. You see, I've disconnected now. And on here, when it exits, it'll say no file. I don't know if you can see, but it'll say no file. That means there are no files on here. We've deleted them all. However, let's say, oh, do you know what? I wish I'd have kept the files on there or kept X amount of files on there. I'd like to put them back. So by naming your folders and stuff, you'd have done this better than I've just done it. But we go to audio share files now, right? But let's first of all reconnect. So to reconnect, we're going to need to actually physically reconnect. So we can take this off here. We can plug it back in here. I'm going to go down again, choose card reader, enter. And now we're in card reader mode in any second. Now we'll see it appear here. There it is, H1NSD. I want to go into my audio share files and I I'm going to find my stereo file. Now, we know if I go in here now, there is more more items in here than there's 28 items in there now. So we're going to be putting 28 items back in. But if you do name that folder more sensibly, so I'm going to do is I'm going to just all I, all I need to do is literally I'm just going to pick it up. Drag it over, make sure that uh, the H1SD is whoops highlighted there like this. And I'm just going to drop it in. And it'll go replace existing items. Well, I'm just gonna re I'll just replace. I'll just replace. And hopefully now what'll happen is it'll install them into here. Now, how can we see this has happened? You'll see it's downloading them. If we just go out and come back in, if it doesn't show you the little icon. But you see there's quite a lot there. So I'll do a little cut here and come back when it's nearly finished. OK, so there you go. And then it'll just do this and then we can open it up again, again. And we've got our 28 files now. And we can start playing with our samples again. They're all back on on here. So that, guys, is how you do it. That is how you get your files via the Files app from your H1N uh, handy recorder into the file system on your iPad, where you can then, of course, do what you want with them. Edit them in like a Hakusai. Hakusai? 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 Haku, Hakusai. Hakusai 2 Pro, which is what I've been using, which is very cool. Oh, here is one we did. I'm going to open this for you. I'm just going to do this. Is it? Which one is it? This one? Um, there it is. Yeah, I did some sample editing with this with Joe went out recorded some stuff with this and
So all I did was slice up some audio, make some loop input. I'm going to do some tutorials for Hakusai 2 Pro. It's really brilliant. I'm really enjoying editing the samples uh, with it that we're recording on the H1, and which we've only just recently got as well for doing some field recordings. Anyway, guys, I've gone on long enough. I will see you later. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a patron. And uh, yeah, top job, cool beans. See you later. Ta-da.